How's it going guys, Jacob here. Today I'm gonna to show you the Waterfall B3 organ from Universal Audio. Before I talk about the plugin itself, you should know that you can now use it without UA hardware. That's a new thing. Traditionally, you've needed an Apollo interface to have UA hardware to use these plugins, but now you can use them like a third-party VST with whatever interface or whatever setup you're using. It's a really awesome thing that UA has done. Simply put, UA has done a beautiful job capturing the sound of a 1958 tone wheel organ and a 1974 Leslie rotary speaker cabinet. Now, let's look at the organ itself and really explore what it can do. First thing, presets. Amazing crafted presets that will get you started, get you inspired with the sound. Many of them are named after famous songs or hinting at famous legendary songs. For instance, Cutting Onions, I think we know what that might be. That sounds familiar. Woo, listen to that. Now that, just that should sell it, especially if any of you out there are organ players or you're very seasoned, you know when it sounds right and it doesn't, just listen to it go from slow to fast. So slow, break, and then the fast. Listen to the crunch. Listen to the quality, the authenticity of the sound. It's beautiful. Let's check out some other presets. One category I really like, best of, it gives you the best of, of course. Let's try another one. Listen to that bass, man. So you got the double manual. Again, it look at it. I mean, it looks so right. You got all the draw bars, of course, which you can adjust here. You could have it mapped to a MIDI controller. You could be doing it that way. Percussion, fast and slow. I mean, you're hearing all these things with every preset, but of course you have control over it. Drive, which is, phew, that's what you need sometimes. <laughs> Listen to that. We go to the rotary. Oh, that is perhaps a bit much, but let's tone it down just a little bit. You can see the drive here is connected to the Type 147 power amplifier, which is modeled down there. So I'll hold a cord and adjust it. This is also where I can change mic positions, go to a different preset, you can see how they're changing. This is also actually the same plugin you get in the rotary plugin. So basically UA took just the Leslie out of this plugin and made it a separate thing. It's also a very cool plugin. 
but you get all these different miking options here. So if you want to really listen to those different options, and you can change the balance, put the horn to the left. Now you're just hearing the horn mics. And you can really hear it. I mean, they've done a good job to capture this. You can go from a stereo two mic spread to just one mic. Let's head back over to the organ. You can see on the left side here, you have your classic normal and soft for volume, vibrato, upper and lower settings. The stuff you're gonna see on a B3, I mean, again, they've done such a good job to make it look like a B3 percussion over here, like I was saying before. And look, you can actually play it with your mouse. And the foot pedals. <laughs> it's amazing. And you've got your Leslie Speed over here, which is that half moon switch that you'd find on a vintage B3. Let's hear some other sounds on here. You can also go by genre, something reggae, let's say. There you go. Gospel, of course you gotta have that. Ah, so this one has a split. You can see you have both manuals. That's where the split is. So you have two different sounds going. Two different drawbar presets going at the same time. Let's go through some other patches. So nice. I mean, all these different colors, it's, it's just exactly right. Amazing. Few other categories, jazz, blues. You got some percussion on that one. off and on. You can also search by description, full sounds. Listen to the drive. I just can't get enough of it. Turn that up. Oh, I love that so much. All right, let's try 
bright. There's also some reverb ones here that use some effects, a little bit more of a spacier kind of sound design thing. That's that spring reverb, which sounds oh so nice. You have the level for it here. Beautiful sounds. What about dirty? <laughs> Something that's dirty. More of my drive that I love. Head back to the organ. Beautiful sounds. Ooh, this one's called Purple Hush. I think I know what that's supposed to be. All right, so that's just a taste of this instrument. Obviously, you can see that I am a fan. I mean, I love the sound of this instrument. I wish I could bottle it up and put it in a keyboard so I could take it on gigs because I got to say it's probably the best organ VST I've heard. It's got to be at least one of the best. And you guys probably agree. If you've got any questions about the plugin itself or any comments about the sound, anything, please put those below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this one, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.